Oh, we don't do any good no. Videos. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Nails and Arbit. Today we're going to be trying out 3D nail art with gel. I found this like Young Nails sculptor gel, like clear gel. I just had it lying around and I was like, oh, this would be cute. So I kind of wanted to give that like um, cute, like kawaii type of look, like build your own charm type of moment. So we're gonna give it a try today. It's my first time. Don't be too harsh on me. So let's get started. First things first, we're gonna start with the acrylic. We're just gonna speed through this really fast. I'm actually using the Jelly Collection again by Young Nails, but you really don't need this. I could have just used clear and I think it would have come out exactly the same. I was trying to, I was gonna use this, I am going to use this polish you guys will see in a second and I thought it needed a blue undertone, but it has such a blue undertone that this wasn't even needed. So if you don't have this, just use clear and you'll get the same effect. So you guys can watch the rest of this acrylic process. I'm using my practice hand from Amazon. I went with this almond shape because I really wanted to have a cute soft shape and I felt like almond was a good soft shape for this. The only other shape I probably would have used would be like oval or something, but almond, I love a good almond, so that's what I picked.
Now we're moving into the filing. This is going to be a quick clip of the filing. We don't need to go in depth on it in this video. So you guys can watch that really quick and then we'll move on to the polish. So here I'm adding a base coat. I've actually been adding a base coat on top of my acrylic recently just to make sure everything is good and smooth. Um, I don't know if I recommend it yet because I haven't used it for very long. So yeah, you guys let me know if you do that too so I know if I'm doing the right thing. And then I added this polish over. This is what I mean. This polish has, this polish has a really blue tint. So that undertone, like that, that blue acrylic wasn't really needed especially when you get a thick coat of this and then I'll put another polish on top and you really can't even see the underneath so yeah use clear and it works great I also got this polish on Amazon this one I got at the nail store I always add a top coat before I do my artwork. So that's what you guys are seeing here. I'm using the D&D DC top coat. I really like this one more than I like the just the D&D. There's a gold bottle and there's a white bottle. I like the gold bottle. And now for the fun part, we're going to be drawing this little piggy. Fun fact, I was actually going to be doing a farm animal on every single nail but then I was like you know what Gabby you should edit <laughs> I have a huge problem editing and then uh, but anyway I started with the pig I really liked the pig and then you'll see what I do next but I just started making this little pig and I'm just doing the color underneath some of the color underneath and then I'll throw the gel on top and you guys will see what I do after that Here I'm going to use a sculptor gel from Young Nails and I'm just going to place it on top of where I made the color already. And I'm trying to make it as 3D as possible. That is the edit I will give myself for this this time. I want to make it even more 3D next time I do this technique. Anyway, I used a, a daughter brush and then I used a brush and I kind of stuck with the brush. I think I liked the brush more than the daughter tool to move this around and try to move it around as little as possible or you will get some air bubbles so I did end up getting a few air bubbles but it still looks really cute and then um, I remembered from my poly gel days so I you guys will see me in a second grab some alcohol and that would try to make it a little bit um, less sticky and a little bit more 
movable without messing everything up because it's so sticky. This is where I grab the alcohol and try to smooth it out a little bit. It was not foolproof by any means, but it helped a little bit. So that was good. All right, so now I'm gonna put the nose on. I feel like this element really does make it look a little bit more 3D. And this is also what I was talking about in the beginning where I put some of the color, I painted some of the color on the bottom, and this color I'm gonna paint on the top. The reason I put the color on the bottom was I felt it looked a little bit more um, kawaii to have that big chunk of clear over the color. And now we're gonna do the nose and I'm gonna paint the color on top of the nose. I think that will create a fun effect like some of the charm is clear and some of it is painted on top. So I just shape the nose how I want um, using my brush and using the alcohol. Let it level out a bit and then give it a cure. I'm only curing these for a minute so it doesn't need any extra cure or anything like that. And now I am painting the same color I used in the inside of the ears on the nose. So you can see here that I'm not going to be adding any of the outside lines. I think it looks softer and more like a charm if I don't add the lines because um, the little piggy has an outline. But yeah, we're going to keep those outlines out and just keep it real soft, real nice, real charm-like. Charm piggy face time. So now we're just plopping the face onto the little piggy. You will see that I do have to redo it because I didn't like how it looked or it didn't cure right or something like that. But anyway, I just grab my daughter tool, grab two black dots, and then add the little cheeks and the little nose. And it's adorable. we're moving on to the flowers so I'm doing the same concept that I did for the pig I'm going to put these um, flower petals paint them on first and then I'm going to throw the gel on top so this is how I create them I create um, a little half circle of dots and then use my um, 11 millimeter brush to make a line and then pull all the rest of the dot down into a point I find that's the easiest way for me to make a flower but I do this kind of concept on all the nails um, just in different locations.
gel time on the flower. So this part was a little bit more simple. So basically I just took my brush through like a dot at the main part of the petal and then pulled it down. And that was the best way that I felt I could do it. All right. Sorry, I got distracted. Someone's like yelling outside. <laughs> but anyway, they stopped. <laughs> Now that all the flowers are made and cured in their 3D form, we're gonna choose a gem. It's either gonna be these pink pearls right here or this pink gem. So I'm just gonna compare them up really quick. So the pink gem is right here. Oh, we're comparing it. Yeah, pink gem and then the pearl. Make some today, so I thought we would just get dry. Oh! We don't do any good old fashioned No. Videos so, no. Let's no, I dropped like literally so all of them. I actually like them better, bruh. We're gonna have to sit here and pick them up. Wow. So we did end up choosing the pink ones. I'm happy I got that little ball so you guys can see. But yeah, I dropped every single one and I had to pick them all up. But it's all right, we got most of them back in there and now we're going with the pink pearls. They're very dainty. Um, and they're just, I like how small they were and subtle they were compared to the other gems. So that's why we went with them. And I'll just finish placing, you guys, placing these and show you guys the reveal in just a sec. While I finish up top coating these, I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I really liked the 3D, so I think I'm going to do this again and make it even more dramatic. But yes, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.